hello hello everyone hi my name is light and um i'm <laughs> i know i just i didn't get up till 12 12 30 or something like that um sleeping a lot but i did a lot of healing on myself yesterday and um i wanted to shoot this short video i can't do it long because i can't sit here but um so if you'll excuse me i'm in an extreme amount of pain but i wanted to shoot this video because this is part of my healing uh, structurally i was doing really 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 good yesterday and i did a lot of i gotta straighten my leg out i did a lot of work and uh <sighs> And it just reminds me of where I was <laughs> not that long ago. And how extremely painful it is. <laughs> Way more than the usual pain. It's really deep nerve pain. And so I guess part of my journey is not just, hey, I feel great today. It was one, two, three when I was talking about that. It's not. It's a very hard, hard journey. Really hard. If I cry, you'll excuse me because this is emotional for me. Not only physically uncomfortable, but there's just nothing I can do. I'm just going to have to be uncomfortable until I'm done. Um, I don't even know if I can talk. So, I started a regimen of oil pulling with coconut oil, and I did do my 20-minute self-reiki treatment, um, and that's how I was able to even get up <laughs> to get my notebook so I can write in it and put my shirt on. Um, I have yet to oil pull because I haven't been able to stand up, walk, and all that to do it, but I will. I'm supposed to do it first thing in the morning. But anyway, enough of that. So the point of this is for anyone out there, if one day everything was, was wonderful and then the rug gets pulled out from under you per se, it's all part of your journey. Just know you're healing. Every time I have extreme pain, I know I'm healing and I hold on to that. And tomorrow I'll be better. I'm tired. It's raining. Thank God. Stay in bed. Um, you think I'd get used to it by now, the whole staying in bed, but I've never been one of those people. And drink water, I gotta drink more water, detox, cigarettes. I gotta get rid of cigarettes, it's time I detox my body, you know, I, uh, I don't eat meat, I just stopped eating meat one day. This is twice it's happened to me. I talk about drinks. I mean, I got all my kombucha. I got my coffee. I make a, since it's a Keurig type thing, I make a, like 14 ounces or whatever. And then I pour a little bit in my cup. So I have all this shit here. Still got cherries. <laughs> but it's really unfortunate because um, I need food and I need to go to the store and Maybe today I'll focus on water, but I need water too. Oh, and my ACV, I haven't been able to do that yet. But that's okay, I will. Or I'll take a day off. I mean, I'm not going to. I don't know yet. Might just forge through it because it's something good for me and I need it. I need it for my gums and my teeth, the, the coconut oil and it gets the shit out of your body. No wonder why, because I'm detoxing. When you detox, usually you feel like shit. I mean, you can get, first time I ever got attuned to Reiki, I got flu-like symptoms. Um, or no, the first time I ever did, was it that or sound healing? No, it was my Reiki, my first Reiki attunement. Who I was sick. I got sick. And then I did sound healing. Same thing happened. I got sick and, and, you know, Oh, God. And my hip is out of place real bad. And that causes me an extreme amount of pain. But 
I can kind of get it back. I'm, I'm slowly working on my body and working on things. So I just wanted to let you guys know if something's really bad and things are, it feels like the rug got pulled out from under you. It's because it's whatever it is, it's healing. If it's body, it's healing. If it's relationships, it's healing. If, you know, emotional pain, whatever, it's healing. Just don't give up. Keep the faith. And I, I had to just lay in bed and, and I, and I thanked God. Well, every time I get up, I thank God. I drink water. I thank God. I eat my food. I thank God. I thank God for when bad things come in my life. And I, and I thank God for this. I said, you know, thank you, God, that I'm healing. Thank you to show me this pain, to remind me to be mindful and, and, and to work towards that in, in, in my healing. You know, without the pain, I wouldn't remember where I was and how important that was to me not being able to walk is, um, I'll never want to do that again, you know, oh, I'll never want to do that again. And, um, so I just thought I'd take this time out to, um, say, Hey, and have a blessed day. And, uh, I think I'm going to listen to my right frequencies again. Um, Something's been calling me since yesterday to do that. Um, sound healing's big. There's so many things to do, and I'm working on my so a C teach the children. I'm putting forth the steps, and then I and then I let then I put it in God's hands, and then God will take care of the rest. Um, but I still have to do my steps, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to do some healing with my Rosie. I love her. She's great. She she loosens my muscles. I mean, I laid here on my side and was putting it over my right side. The hip that's always out, of, you know, right now it's even moving. And it's just like, oh, it takes your breath away. It goes so slow. Oh, like I could feel it go through the muscle, you know, moving. And it, yeah, my foot goes numb. And it just, it's. It's just pain. It's just pain. Mind over matter. It don't matter, so I don't mind. You know what I mean? But um, I was laying on my side, and I would put Rosie over my hip, you know, and. I was like, oh, God, that feels so good. I could feel it so deep inside, you know? And um, and then my hip went pop. You know, it moved all on its own. My muscles were relaxing. It was, it was you know, so I'm working with Rosie, and, and we got something here. And um, I know this lady, she says, uh, uh, you know, she doesn't need crystals and stuff, and it's not a matter of needing crystals you know you're powerful but when you put your power with the crystal you know your energy with the crystal and in ancient Egypt they had cones and we'll get into all that at another time but which is a directed energy right so and I have I have all these things in my storage in Colorado so I need to get um what do I, what am I lacking right now? Somebody to turn bolts. Then, you know, finish my, I just need somebody to get underneath and twist a couple bolts. You don't even have to take them all the way out. we got to lower the subframe. I can do the two nuts, which releases that, and then pull the rack and pinion out. Pound the shit out, put it back in, whatever. And then I will need somebody, I guess, under there to do all the part that I took apart already <laughs> to get under there. Well, wrenching it back in is not as hard. Is when they're first stuck, you know, because I have torque wrenches and shit like that, which I want everything to be torqued down properly. Um, but you know, getting back to Miss Rosie, she's a beautiful rose quartz, and she gorgeous. I 
I mean, it doesn't do justice here because I don't really, because of the light, but. And then I have two other ones. This is Annabelle. She's my clear quartz. She's beautiful, too. And they're just beautiful. And then we have Anastasia, which Anastasia is my amethyst. Poor dear has a little chip at the bottom. I, I don't know if that happened when I got it. My selenite's been, slivers have been coming off of it. It's crazy. Rosie is fucking beautiful. I mean, this isn't Rosie. I'm so sorry, Rosie. This is Anastasia. Anastasia, don't be mad at me. I love you, but she's beautiful. I know. And she works great for the chakras. Anastasia will pretty much do anything, but I keep Anastasia. I know she gets upset with me. Um, if I want to ask a question about something, you know, um, I could do that with any of them, you know. They all can do whatever. Uh, how did they get their names? They named themselves. What do you mean by that? What I mean by that is, Rosie, I named her. But you ask your pendulum if you have one and they're great they're great for all chakra ever just all kind all kinds of things but um you always want to hold it with your thumb and your index fingers how i was told and then <clears throat> you know it's energy so and that's what it picks up on so i would say don't hold it over any of the when you're asking you know what i mean because it'll pick up It'll pick up different energies. And I just ask. Um, because if she likes her name, Rosie, you know, what does yes mean to you? What does ne yes mean to you? Show me yes. They'll show you yes. Show me no. They'll show you no. So you can ask. And then I named Annabelle something else before. I can't remember what it is now. And uh, the name Annabelle came into my head. So then I asked Annabelle. First, I found out her yes and her no. Did a little quizzes, you know. And uh, I asked if that's what she wanted. It was Annabelle. And uh, Anastasia, I think the same thing. I think I did the same thing with Anastasia. The name Anastasia popped in my head. And I keep remind it reminds me of Fantasia. Wasn't that a Disney thing? I, I never saw it. Or whatever it was. I don't know if it was a... I can't remember anyway. Anyway, um, as I sit here and talk and take my mind off of it, I've relaxed and I'm doing better. Um, the pain is still there, but it, it's a mind over matter thing. I really don't like pain. <laughs> I just have to deal with it a lot. It's okay. <laughs> I didn't know the human body could withdure so much physical pain. And, um, I mean, fuck, I'm less than 100 pounds, I think, maybe at 100, before it withers away and just dies. I almost died. I knew I was dying. I could feel my body dying. <clears throat> but here I am, getting younger and stronger and better every day. This isn't a, this isn't, <clears throat> but see, other, everyone else in your life, I think I'm not around a lot of people. I'm only around one person, mostly, except when other people come around, but, um, <clears throat> you guys, my body is so twisted and contorted that I have to work on my whole entire spine, my shoulders, my neck, because I'm on all twisted and when I lay flat on the ground, you could see it like my hip will be up down and then my this and then my sh I'm, I'm just I'm fucked up bad but it's all muscle tightness you know so it's it's a process I'm working with you know so which helps me be more mindful so yay it's great <laughs> it really is I'm learning a lot <clears throat> it's not that I'm learning I'm 
these are things that are coming out in me, um, things that are already in me, um, things I already know, but um, learning to accept and surrender and go in faith and, and be patient, you know, all the things we have in us. And um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about this now. I was going to do a whole separate thing, but uh, right now seems like a good time. So I had done a short or something, I think, and uh, I was telling, I had a message about saying, you know, you're made per. I don't know what all of it says, but I think something about, I want to say you're made perfect. I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to go back and watch that, really, because uh, somebody commented, this is what I'm remembering or what came to me, so I'm just going to go with it. That must be what I need to speak about. Um, that I, I think I'd, I'd said, you know, you're made perfect. Yeah, I think that's what it was. You know, you're made perfect. And um, this, somebody commented, you know, to, to God never said that. Stop telling lies and stuff like that. And I, you know, I got on there and I said, you know, thank you for your opinion. And, and then la da da, have a nice, whatever. I don't know after that, but, you know, thank you for your opinion. And I mean that. So then I, I meditated and I resonated on it during the day and I was like well now if you look at the evil and things like that I can understand from that from a from that kind of perspective looking at the the character if you're looking at the meat suit and the character the role you're playing then no you're not made perfect but you are made perfect the perfectness comes from inside. We were all made perfect. We were all born. Then we were taught and conditioned. Our character was taught and conditioned. And from that, we're learning our lessons and we're doing our lessons from that standpoint. Thank you. But as far as being perfect, well, we are. <laughs> because even if you want to go to the Bible and say we were made in his image are you saying God is not perfect so this is really good um, thing to speak about because it teaches so many things so let me ask you this how should I have responded how would you have responded I responded from a place of where I'm at in my life and I do respect I do respect and value people's opinions because I know their opinion comes from their perspective, their conditioning, their character, their role of where they're at to their understanding at this moment. I don't need to worry about what their thoughts are or, or what they say about me and, and what people are going to say about me and, and what they always have and how I'm going to be attacked and all that because my things I speak about are either things I've lived and it's my belief which it all is it's all my belief my understanding and my opinion of things that are that are shown to me things that are that are put in my head that are put in my mind's eye that are put on my heart my knowing my spirit um, and maybe I'll say things in a way to spark up something like that and not explain where I'm coming from and I and I it, it's coming to me I'm channeling it's coming to me now that um, I'm gonna get some water, guys. Um, yes. And I got my choku ray on there, and I got my thank you and love you, you know, on my water. Thank you, water. This is my moon water bottle. I want to get a bigger one for the moon water. They have bigger ones, but this is one I could probably carry around easier. Anyway, I need to get a drink. I usually pour it into my guava goddess. Um, Sambuca, Sambuca. <laughs> you can tell I was a drinker. <laughs> Kombucha. <laughs> Anyhow, so, and it and it goes back again, and 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 God's really wanting me to teach on this, teach on this, speak on this, whatever. That um, God haven't even looked in the mirror yet. So this isn't about what I look like. This is this is a meat suit. This is about what it what matters and, and it's not what you see on the outside it's not the character it's not the role of course it, it now you guys when I speak of things I'm not speaking of 
how do you want to put it? The Matrix, 3D world, necessary. You know what I mean? I'm more in the in this in what matters in our in coming home to ourselves, to our divineness, to our our divine selves, who we are, who we are. Um. Thank you, meat suit. <laughs> I love my meat suit. And there's a whole other thing I'm going to do, this talk I'm going to do about that as well. But back to this gentleman or woman. I don't know who it was. I didn't look it. I don't look into him or whatever. I just happened to see that I saw that. And, and you know, for me on my journey, and maybe there's somebody out there that can relate, because if you're on this light worker journey or whatever you want to call it, um, hey. I imagine you might you'll relate to this as well. So thinking about reactions and and looking going within and looking at oneself. Wow, I just had a glitch. <laughs> That's why I mean literally it just went think. Um yeah. I've had lots of glitches. I even have recording, and I'll dig it out sometime, and I'll and I'll play that short snippet of it. But, um, yeah, when I made a really weird noise and sat up straight like I was a fucking robot, and, and I, I've been watching Westworld, so I'm like, oh yeah, this so looks like our life. I'm like, oh my god, now they're just blatantly telling us <laughs> they always have. Anyway, so in your conscious, your consciousness, your brain, or whatever. I mean, if you want to put a material thing to it, right? Because ego is not a reality. It's it's our part of our character, our humanness. You know, um, I'm learning what it's like to be human. Or I'm understanding that I've been playing a part in the human body. Hence, I'm aware of what I am who I am, what, <laughs> thought I'd say it like that, but I'm still, it's out on the fence on that a little bit, I'm really not totally 100, I mean, look, I'm learning how this whole thing goes, okay, this, in a, with, with, because this is a totally different level than just my spiritual team helping me out all the time, my angels, you know, this is doing messages, so they're speaking through me, and 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 it, the way it comes across, I'm supposed to speak it, and and when I'm doing that, I'm thinking. So you're saying I'm Archangel or Archangel Gabriel? Oh, you're saying I'm this? Oh, you're saying I'm that? No, <laughs> we are speaking through you. So this is, you know, I don't know, I don't know. I, I'm not to think about it. I just do what I'm told. I'm not, Sometimes not on the 100. Um, but we talk about it, God and I. Anyhow, I'm going to stretch out a little. So if you don't see me for a sec, I'm just right back here. Okay? I just have to lay out for a sec. Oh. Um, so when you begin to look at yourself... And take your focus on other off of other people, and only how you react, what your integrity, what you how which, what you want your character to look like in this game. Basically, um, I don't want any more karma, so I just want peace. I just want peace. I just want to get to the level so I can accomplish our dream, God and myself, the dream. God has placed on me the, the, the things he's going to the things God is the most high is going to do through me and through all of you when you get to your your point you know your, your place um, yeah I know I wrapped these lights up because they were hanging on the ground so I just freaking put it up like that to get it off the ground and give me a little light in here anyway so I mean this is you guys, you can do whatever you want, of course. All I'm trying to do is I'm obedient, saying what I'm supposed to say when I'm supposed to say it. Um, and when 
and using me as an example because these are things I'm going through like you had to see I I don't shoot videos when I'm down and out really and I, things are you know what I mean and I'm I'm I don't want to and this pulls me out of my comfort zone because being the person that who I am I don't like to trouble people with my problems. I never feel like anyone's troubling me too much unless they're just negative and that's all they want to be. Then I don't, you know what I mean? You don't want to change your life. There's a difference somebody who wants to speak to you because they really, you know, want to, they want to get it out. I'm not going to get lost in that, but that's not up to me why people do what they do. But, you know, it's energy exchange. Don't waste your energy. Watch your energy. Wasted energy is on those who really don't want help but just want to bring you down. You'll have to use your own discernment for that. And that's why the things you've known all your life, the things you've known but you didn't want to face but you've known it. And that's why a lot of times you're angry. You're angry and you don't like these people and they upset you and they attack you <coughs> because you don't like yourself. Because you're not paying attention to your own boundaries. I'm talking to myself. As well as some of you out there. Well, you know, this is, I'm, I'm telling you, this is what I learned, what I went through, what I had to face. And, and I went back to tell these people, you know, it's not, I am so sorry and I apologize for being such a dick. I didn't know it at the time. I kind of did, but I, I didn't. When you know, you, you can know something, but then you, but then you know it. You know what I mean? Then you know it. Um, so, so, it, going back and saying, hey, I apologize for I was such a dick, you know, but really noticing that I was a dick, first of all, and then apologizing, making amends, forgiving yourself, forgiving yourself, forgiving that person, because chances are they know their part and they know their part and not saying that this this person was doing all the same meh you know we were just bringing out in each other what each other needs to heal in themselves right so that's all we're seeing call it what you will um all that really matters is working on your own inner self going to church is fat okay I'm not gonna get into that not right now hold on to that thought maybe we'll do it later or you know we'll do it here in a minute or whatever but um <clears throat> focusing on oneself so getting to the point of being able to recognize that hang on a sec guys <laughs> My plant medicine, I just wasn't going to do it because, you know, I uh, something made me think of, hey, can you get in trouble for that? <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? So I'd rather not. Um, but my own integrity, you know, like responding to that, to that, per, you know, to that um, comment about um, <clears throat> stop spreading lies. God never said that. Well. I don't know who your God is, but, um, it's my belief in, in, in the God. I know there's only one God, but you know, people worship their own things, whatever they want to, you know, if they want to worship an ant, they can. I mean, that's up to them, but we are all made perfect. We have that perfectness in us. It's our roles that we can't, we come to carry on. So. Let's not get stuck with the semantics of things. People, <clears throat> he's responding from a 3D meat suit point of view. I was not. Um, and your body is perfect for you. It's your part of your lesson. You made it that way. You made your character look like that you made your character like that. There's reasons for it. You know, has anyone ever thought of it? 
And and not only that, you know, the conditioning and, and all of that, but breaking free from it and, and coming home to yourself, it breaks the illusion, which you don't understand, or you may understand. I mean, I'm, I'm going to work on that. Um, have the understanding and the knowing within yourself, using your own discernment, your, your intuition. Thank you. And having a phone that tells you you're hot. <laughs> um... It's just something to always make me say thank you, and, it, and it's cute, and it does. It's like, oh, well, thank you. I'm hot, you know? Everybody's beautiful. No, they're not. There's some people that are just downright malicious, but there is there is that part in them. There is a spark of, in them, I believe, of goodness, but that's, that's how I always believe people to be. I see the spark in good even in the evil guys I gotta lean back again I can't see if you can see me but because it's all black right there so oh yeah plant medicine not in front of, not in front of the kids um there should be no kids on here but just um it's huge when I was able to see that and accept it and notice that I was able to go hey I uh I was I, I apologize for being a dick um, you know realizing it was my own boundaries that I was upset about because I was not um, following my own boundaries because I was allowing things to happen and then I was angry with myself you know he still was doing what he was doing whatever it was okay whatever whatever it could be lying <laughs> you know name it shit like that <clears throat> lying yeah we're just gonna leave it at lying um but I had a choice to accept it keep my fucking mouth shut not accept it not keep my mouth shut lash out say shit I'm more of a fucking little dig I, I dig 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 would dig 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 because these are things that bother me so it, it came out in little dig rather than so anyway and I have a choice I could fucking leave. You know what I mean? We have choices. So people, instead, you know, instead of going, which I did, he's such a fucking liar. And then I would talk to somebody about it. And then I would talk to somebody about it. Then I would think about it. And then ugh, I'd come home and guess what? I'd see the same shit I thought about and spoke about all day. The next day, same thing. You can't control people, places, or things. Did he stop doing fucked up shit? No, it got worse. But you know what changed? Me. It hurt. Why am I here? What am I to learn from this? You know what I mean? I. When it's all said and done, does it really matter what this one person is doing? We know this person is like this, and this is how they are right now. That's not going to change right now, okay? It may never. So, Serena, what are you going to do about it? Serena, are you going to be light? Are you going to stay, Serena, in the same cycle, on the same hamster wheel, going, I've tried, you know, I've tried everything. I, I don't know what the lesson is. I just can't figure it out. Why don't you show me? Trying to figure out what the lesson was to get out faster kept me from lo my learning what I needed to learn. When you allow, and it, I mean, hey. <laughs> this is going to sound crazy, but in a sense, <clears throat> I don't really care if it does or not, but this just came to me, so this is my truth, right? It was easier for me because many reasons. My same hell was my same saving grace. And when God said the, place, the safest place for me to be at that moment was in the middle of hell, I believed it. I believe God because God was with me didn't the creator make all things can an angel earn its wings back per se
show this now. I get messages all the time and I'm, I'm, I'm taking a moment to use my discernment on what I, I am to speak on just because I get the message might not necessarily mean I need to speak on it at the moment. It might be something I need to write down and speak on it later. Um, it's not for right now. Yeah, that's a whole nother time. So what was I speaking on? The... Because <clears throat> when I had to really ask, when I really asked, got down and asked myself the questions of, all right, we'll say this, um, my insecurities, a really huge thing in my life, and I'm not going to get into the whole long story of it, but I'm going to say porn was one of it, okay? And, um... I used to fixate on that so hard, but that's how the confusion would come in. That's how the people that wished me all the things they wished on me, that's how they were able, my vibration was so low that these energy, the vibration which carries information is sent to me. And that's how, if you want to call it the enemy, the devil, whatever, that's how use my own mind to use our own minds to attack ourselves. It's brilliant. They don't have to do anything except send a thought out to you. And then you take care of the rest. It's amazing. It's fucking brilliant. But could you imagine if those of us who know these things and we know how energy works and we know that energy carries vibration and it carries information and that a simple thought could f keep someone stuck in a fucked up life. Or how about, God, could you imagine if, if, if we could only send out love and light to people? Oh man, if only we could do that. Oh. If only we could send the vibration of love from our heart and then send it from our third eye. Admit it from your whole body. And just send a wave of light. White light energy. Of love. And compassion. Because that character that's acting that way that character's been hurt and it's lost and it doesn't know how to get out. It just needs some compassion and kindness, maybe. Instead of fighting fire with fire, because then you just feel it. When you get angry, this is for me. Oh boy, this is for me. Lessons for light today. <laughs> someone reacts unkind and yells and screams at you and you react the same way you feed their fuel you feed their darkness in return they feed your darkness and it's just a feeding of what you don't really want what you do have at it okay so I, I got on my head I could hear people saying uh, I mean, all this stuff, and, and, you know, my mind doesn't want to go there because I'm not going to go there. Um, <clears throat> you have your opinion, and you can think how you think from where you're at, and I love you, and I appreciate you anyway. Because without you, I couldn't see the things in me that I need to do. And I want to choose to be happy I like it. That sense of peace on wonder and getting past my own ego, my egoic mind, my humanness, what it means to be human, 
what it means to be a spiritual, eternal fragment of God's source. That has been blessed to be able to experience what we experience on this level that we cannot in spirit when we're just energy. Do I get the high pitch things, man? Preach it, right? Give it to me. a blessing to, to when we go back to our spirit form to be like dude I got to break my arm and it hurt like hell or something you know man my heart got broken so much and I love this girl and and I love this guy and God, the things I got to experience how magnificent it was Thank you, God, Heavenly Father, for allowing me to experience all these wonderful experiences I've experienced and not leaving us completely dead, alone, and separate that you are with us because in us we have the knowing of you and in this we have the knowing of what we can do, of who we are. Thank you, God, for allowing us, giving us the opportunity to experience all these wondrous things. Now I know why you love your humans so much, because you dwell in them. And without them, you would not be able to experience all these things because you are the creator of one God. Thank you. Thank you, God. You bless me. But as we get past and learn what it's like to be human in our humanness, and we know who our soul is, we can work through these traumas. We realize it's a reality to us. Horrendous things were done to our, our humans. Our meat suit. Is it to come from that? All I keep hearing. Glory to God. God <laughs> glory to God. Bless be. Glory to God. I can't say it. Glory to God, blessed be. Um, and this is back when Jesus walked. I'm, 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 I'm not. I'm hearing it. How I know my what my language is. Yes, yes. To answer somebody who has the question of. Um, well, if you're hearing from God, why can't you hear that? Ask God. I'm not going to question God. Because I have read things, yes, read things, that are Akkadian or something, some kind of old Babylonian, some, some kind of language I read and I understood what it meant. So yes, but why would I do that? Those are parlor tricks. Parlor tricks? Now is not the time. Now 
knows about this time. So, <clears throat> getting chills all over. Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> we are all born the same and don't look at it in a 3D meat suit body but we're all born the same no that's not true because our souls are different so what do I mean what do I mean by that? What do, we, what do you mean? What do I mean? God. Mm. Yes, thank you. Thank you, God. We're all born with that fragment of God's source. That's where we're the same. Back to that. Not when we're born. But when we're born and the light comes into the body, I want to say conception. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. This is my opinion. Don't attack me. If you do, I love you anyway. I'm not claiming to be anything. I'm just telling you my story and, I, and my belief and my opinion that I hear from God source and um, other angelic realm and spirit guides and, and passed over energies whatever kind of energies they want to be um, I don't necessarily communicate with the, with the dark energies um But when I was told to say he is risen and he's come to collect, well, you guys know the times we're in. I keep hearing there's a plot twist. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to it. Spirit's about to, I'm, I have to be done because there's a plot twist. Anyway, uh, yep, goosebumps all over. It's time for me to go. Um, hey. I love you. God loves you. Love the God in you. Learn about your human. Your character. Learn about your human. It'll come back to you. Ask yourself questions. That's what I did. I mean, that worked for me. How Whatever works for you, just whatever works for you, whatever gets you there. For me asking questions, I think, okay, I'm going to go back to the porn thing before I go. So does it really matter that this one person in the whole scheme of life, I'm going to call myself Serena because I was Serena then. Serena. Does it matter he watches porn? Does it really matter if this person doesn't want to have sex with you and will not show you that? Does it really matter to you of who you are? Well, no. No, it's one person. I love him, but if he doesn't love, you know. Well, does it really matter he likes to watch other, you know what I mean? You watched porn back in your druggy days. It wasn't my preference, but sometimes it was, you know. Uh, um, how did you feel about it? Well, I know how I felt about it. Well, how do you know it's not the same. You know what I mean? Like, I'm putting the shoe on the other foot. Stop being such a hypocrite. <clears throat> look outside the box. Look at it. I mean, ask yourself, at the, day of, at the day's end, does it really matter what this one person thinks or feels about you? Because they're their own person going through their own shit. Why would somebody want to watch porn rather than have a woman... That in flesh and blood see what I'm saying right there 
that they're attracted to, supposedly, love, supposedly, from their space of how they can, um, not my problem, right? Not my monkey, not my zoo. Um, what a relief to break myself out of that fucking bondage, which was really, but what I wanted to get to is when I kept asking myself that question of, does this one thing really matter so much, blah, 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 blah. Well, where does this stem from? Well, why would I feel that way? Why would I do this? Oh, because I was hurt and molested as a child. I somehow took it on myself that I was horrible, ugly, and wrong. Well, I, I, actually, that would probably be the opposite because if everybody um, rapes and molests you and, and sexually abuses you and, and physically, you're probably far from ugly. But yet you have no self-worth. Self-worth is taken from you as a child because it makes you feel bad, society or whatever. What? Why would you do that to yourself? It wasn't, that's saying, I did something bad, it was my fault. I was a baby. Well, God, we hope not. <laughs> But I was very young. I was a baby. Yeah. I don't know what toddlers are too. And then, then I became a toddler. And, you know, it just it never got better. So there's a little dip into my life. My path. God, the part I want you to take from me is seeing it through my own eyes as a child. That fucks me up. I'm supposed to remember that. There's a reason I don't like it. It's imprinted in my... <laughs> anyway. But that was my, you know, my human. My human had to go through these things. My human knew that. No, I knew that. My human didn't know that. I don't know. I can't really say that's true because, well, no. And then, then I guess that, that's right because this goes back to, you know, God, thank you that we have all of the knowledge from all the lifetimes that we've had and we have the knowledge of God. You know what I mean? Of all things. So we have that. It's the veil. Blessed are he that comes to know me, that comes to know God. Blessed are he that becomes to know his, your, 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 yourself. Blessed to know that I am he and he is in me. I am he and he is in me. I am the one true source, the one of all things that I am. He, the I am. They like to put things in words of he, so we'll use that. In me. The me, I guess, is the human. The I. The I is our divineness. The E is the ego, the I is the divineness. Why, human, do you want to do this to yourself? Don't do it to yourself anymore, human. Let your eye out. Your I am out. Let your I out. Accept the things your human has done and been through. Your human did it because you chose this role. You, the I in you, 
chose this character in this role. And you're in misery because the I am part of you is pissed. <laughs> that it's losing against a human. The human it controls. It's like you have two minds, isn't it? One's the truth. One's the lie. The 3D. The shit that does not feel good is not from light source. So get rid of everything and shine the light on the dark. Fuck this. Wait a minute. I know who the fuck I am. I'm a fragment. Source energy is what I am. I'm source energy. Source is God. Source energy. I tell this human what to do. I know these are human things and that when I become spirit, they are no longer. It's part of my character and role and I've played many. All parts. All you got to do is come home to yourself. The shit's real, I'm, I'm going to tell you. But I'm not here to focus on the dark part, only on the light. Because that's the only way they, the dot, whatever, the human, the spirit realm, all of it. <clears throat> it's not the human that I worry about, it's the spirit realm. Because there's the ones that control shit around here. Okay? Around here. So, be on with you. I rebuke you. I renounce. I renounce you. I renounce fear. I renounce hatred. And I give it to God and my angels. Angels, God, send your angels. Will you take all this doubt and all this fear and all this pain and all this suffering and I'm going to put it on your wings. And will you please, will you carry that up to God? Thank you. God, I believe you. I know you're in me. Show me. Show me yourself. Show me what I am, what I can do. He said, okay. What the marvelous, wonderful, impossible things that you can do through this human. In the name of you. In the name of you. Glory be you. Glory goes all to you. Take my brokenness, my broken body, my broken spirit, my broken mind. Make me pure and whole. All in the name of you, God the Most High. Your soul knows what it's supposed to do. Your human's trying to stop it. That's what it's supposed to do. Wouldn't be a fun game, would it? There would be no lessons in this. They were hard. So, are you going to let your human, your ego, the E, are you going to let your E take over? Or are you going to let your I, M win? Because your E will have you stay in your karmic circle going around and around being born and dying, born and dying, living all these lives over and over and over again. Are you going to stop that shit and say, you know what, leveling up, my hu I'm getting a new body, you know, people who play games, you know what I'm talking about, <clears throat> you can get <clears throat> weapons and cool things, well, you get psychic abilities and all kinds of cool things too when you go the other way. It is a game called life. And there was instructions. But in this game, there's players that were set to 
change the rules and not show us the instructions, then we had to depend on ourselves to find the instructions. Ooh, it gets deep, doesn't it? Ooh, and it gets out there. Ooh, there's lots of little avenues. There's so many things. It's a web. Now we have the wide world web. Wow, it's crazy. Things must have really come to a closure. Oh, yeah, New Earth is coming. Can you feel it? It's a parallel. It's coming right over us. It's going to, like, envelop. I don't know how to explain it. It's weird. Anyway. I'm not going to tell you about the mysteries of the universe just yet. <laughs> no, I'm teasing. Um, teasing, not teasing. But, <clears throat> um, so, the human, we're going to talk about the human at another time. I'm going to write this actually in my book because this is cool. I like this. Um, today's 8-3, correct? I'm really going to do this a whole nother way. Duh, right? Smart. Not so smart. <laughs> I mean, it's just insane. Anyway. What's today? Wednesday? Yeah, tomorrow's my appointment. Did I write 8-3 or 3-3? Three, three? Eight three. Okay, you just never know with me. The human. That is great shit right there. I really appreciate you guys being here with me. Oh my gosh, it's been an hour. I gotta go. <laughs> I'm gonna double peace, love, Mwah. harmony to y'all. See you on the flip. We're out.